Excuse me, Ricky. Ricky, I did see what you were doing. It felt good, didn't it? It's all right. We all have feelings like this sometimes. I'm just glad you're doing this in the privacy of your own room. I'm sorry I intruded on your privacy. I'll be sure to knock next time, okay? Welcome to Bear Critic. on Bear Critic. We are trying the oldest Japanese brand in existence, Sapporo. Also the most popular Japanese beer sold in America. Important. And what I've heard is really good, so I think we might as well give it a shot. I can get it open. I lost my normal one I have been using in this one. Air, finally. Bullshit. There it is. Sepulchre. Try <laughs> I don't know if I should be having sushi with this or not. Which, that sounds so good. And, um, it is my birthday today, so I might have sushi. Maybe. Well, when this video will be released, it'll be my birthday. So, happy birthday to me. Cheers. Not bad, not bad it has them. Um, it reminds me of Budweiser, really. Kind of kind of a halfway between Budweiser and Bud Light. Which is not not exact not typically my favorite, but you know, this this isn't it's not bad. Not something I would drink constantly. Or, but if, if it was offered, yeah, I'd probably take a drink. Or if it was, if I was at a Japanese restaurant and this was all, all that was available, I might take one. If there was, you know, Coors or something or Guinness available, I would take one of those, of course. But. Um, yeah, that's not bad. From what I read on it, it's supposed to have some sweetness that I'm not getting the sweetness that it's supposed to have. It's a it's a popular beer, like I said, it's the um, oldest Japanese beer brand. Since 1876, I mean, that's a pretty good track record. So. Apparently there are people that like it, and I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. It is just... Really, I can get American beer that tastes the same. Probably for much cheaper. 
So why not go that route? I mean, I mean, it has a clean finish. It's easy to drink. So it's not a bad, not a bad beer at all. It's just not my favorite. Again, it has that um, it has that Budweiser after flavor for some reason. As far as taste goes, the bitterness and everything, it kind of reminds me of Coors. But Coors has a cleaner aftertaste. You don't really get the aftertaste of Coors. This kind of lingers. I mean, like I said, it's. You might like it, you might not, I don't know. Me personally, I can take it or leave it. But it's not bad. Well, that was Sapporo. And I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, give give it a shot. If you like, if you like, if you like beer, if you'd like to try this, just just so you can say that you tried the oldest Japanese beer, give it a shot. You you might like it, but it could just be the day time of day. It could be there's some days you want something different. This might be one of those days. I might be having one of those off days. But, either way, be good to yourself, be good to others. I'll see you next time. Adios. Don't drink and drive.